Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are a student who are looking for internship or if you are someone who is looking for internship and to get a proper career so this video is for you i'm going to discuss about free paid internship paid internship in the sense you will be get paid from the company and i'll be discussing about the eligibility criteria about the internship opportunity as well as stay with me till the end where i'll be telling you what are the important points which you should uh, remember which you should check before and after applying your internship so before we dive into the topic so this is my channel if you haven't subscribed it please go and subscribe now where you will be getting a lot of information about it and this particular playlist is specifically for you those who are looking for internship job opportunities and free courses to learn okay don't forget to watch this let us go to the first internship which is by data science intern at mou moe innovation skill cell so this is external company internship opportunity this is actually for the data science okay and you can see this is full time opportunity and uh, they have uh, published this on 10th june uh, it's in new delhi so the location is in new delhi you have to start immediately once you are selected and the three months you have to attend there okay if you are in and around delhi so please try this uh, internship opportunity and this stipend is as per aicte norms per month so whatever the norms they have uh, fixed in for those interns so you can get, you will be getting it so you have to apply before 25th of june okay so what uh, what is all about this program you can see mic which is the company name okay moe innovation cell uh, is looking for talented and motivated interns to join our dynamic team so they are looking for the intern and who can apply the eligibility criteria is very very important um, from btech be equivalent specialization from any you may be like you may be doing your btech or be in mechanical civil triple e whatever it may be so which you should be available for duration of three three months and have relevant skills and interest okay so you should have relevant skills in data science that is what they are asking about so number of openings is four so you have to just go ahead i'm not a robo and apply here you have to log in register first and log in if you want to know how to register please comment know how i'll be helping you okay so let us go to the next uh, next opportunity which is web app development so this is also from the same uh, company intern for moe innovation cell okay and this is also a full time internship 10th june and it's in new delhi so it's a three months of internship and you have to apply before 25th of june and even the same qualification they are expecting and the number of opening is um seven so you can see here these are all the openings it's like seven openings they have and the third internship is for data science and analytics internship with certification so they have credits as well they have four credits they are giving you and it's a virtual internship okay uh, you can attend from anywhere it's uh, they have posted on 6th june and you have to apply before 15th june okay so this is very important you have to apply before 15th june and this is what what are the uh, so who can apply like you can apply you can be from anywhere uh, any specialization available you should be there for two months and you have relevant skill set okay so with nominal uh, registration fee you have to register for 359 as per AICT guidelines okay and the 38 openings are there and once you are selected okay and what are the uh, things perks you will be getting a reward once you are shortlisted you will be getting an offer letter research material based basic to advanced resume building communication skill every week assignment based task real time projects work minor project uh, like real time project works one minor project two uh, and major project okay you will be getting the, these things and review projects get opportunity for interview round final completion certificate everything so you can just uh, uh, do these like you can try to apply for these internship as well so these three internship and the stipend is 5000 per month okay so stay as i told stay till the end i'll be discussing about before and after applying the 
um, applying for the interview and if you require any guidelines you know you can schedule a call with me one is to one call with me so i can help you out and this is my blog okay in this blog you'll be getting all the details about the internships and everything so you can find it here you can follow my blog to learn more about it and i'll be posting some quizzes and everything okay so let us see what are the things you have to consider before applying and what are the things you have to consider after applying so the first one is research the company so understand company clearly okay you have to go check the glassdoor.com uh here if you click on the glass door you can see you have to just click on the company and search for the company how the company is and uh, what are the ratings of the company so this is the very first one next one is read and read the internship description carefully so you can see that in description here what they are looking for that is very very important okay about the program you have to these are all the description okay full time everything then eligibility criteria whether you are eligible here they have mentioned like are from any so no problem but here they have mentioned you should be a btech or be equivalent and it should any specialization have relevant skills so this you should consider next one is location and work you have to think about whether it is online or offline here it is virtual so no problem if it is uh, it's an offline program so you have to think whether you are near anywhere near to this location if you are far away from this then you have to think twice twice okay and the next is what career relevance whether you are uh, applying for this don't apply because your friend is applying don't apply because someone is uh, forcing you to apply really understand what you are going to do next okay so if you wanted to become a python uh, developer or a web app development if you want to become a data science then you have to apply this or this okay if you are a, if you want to become a web app development then you have uh, developer then you have to go ahead with this okay so it should be relevant to your career application requirements what are the application requirements so any how resume cover letter your might be your mark sheet xerox copies okay your um, uh, any accreditations or the certifications transcripts everything so you have to be very ready with that next one is application deadline when is the deadline before the deadline you have to apply for this particular internship that is very very important and uh, finally stipend and benefits what are the stipends they are giving this is what the stipend you can see here this is the stipend 5000 this is as per aict roms and what are the benefit there you have to go to the perks okay and see what are the perks they are offering for if it is not mentioned clearly ask them okay this is before applying so what about after applying okay i you have applied for the um uh, if you have applied for the internship but you didn't get any mail okay so what you have to do you have to follow up okay you if you don't receive a confirmation email follow up with the company to ensure they receive your application be polite and professional in your follow up communication that is very very important next is prepare for your interview research common interview questions related to the role and the company practice your responses and conduct mock interview with friends or mentors third one is prepare questions to ask the interviewer about the company and the role fourth one is continue learning okay so you have to if while waiting for the response you should not keep quiet and do nothing okay so you have to continue to develop relevant skills through online courses workshops and personal projects this not only prepares you for the role but also it will shows the initiative during the uh, interviews as well next one is stay organized you have to keep track of the internship you are applied for okay including the application dates and any responses you receive set a reminder for the follow up because we usually uh, we we usually forget okay and the interview dates and the most important thing is networking okay connect with the current or former inter interns and employees on linkedin to learn more about their experiences join a professional groups and forums related to your field of interest and evaluate offers if you receive multiple offers for example you are applying for these three company okay and you are getting you are getting offers from these three for these three positions okay so you have to evaluate which one to go okay choose the internship that best aligns with your career goal and personal circumstance and respond professionally if you receive an offer letter you have to respond professionally promptly 
if you need time to uh, if you need time to make decision politely ask for deadline extension as well okay anything you have to talk stay positive so rejections are a part of the application process if you are not getting this internship they don't worry go and look for the second internship another internship okay you have to be positive okay use them as a learning experience to improve your future applications stay motivated and keep applying to other opportunity as well so that's all for the today's video and thank you all i'm planning to conduct a live session for the students so if you have any idea if you want any specific topics in the technology to discuss please let me know i can help you out with the live sessions and ask me anything session for that give me some idea for that thank you take care and bye bye please share this video with everyone who will be benefited out of it